Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back with another one. We got a good one for you today. Jalen Walker against Porkchop. Alejandro Guerrero, which will be in Corpus Christi on the Jared Anderson card. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you. Uh, a 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Let, let's, yeah, bleh, losing my brain today. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, I don't gamble, but if you do, we use DraftKings. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, also join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It can also be found in the tagline below. Um, five dollars a month gets you a lock of the week. Uh, gets you all types of great perks. You can ask the bookie anything. You can have me handicap any fight for you. Do a video on any fight that you want. Uh, just five dollars a month to get your free T-shirt, the lock of the week, all the perks. Uh, join the Patreon below. Just five dollars a month. Also, Texas Boxing Scene. Follow my other channel on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. The channel is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. We'll be uploading a lot of information, a lot of content uh, this week in Corpus Christi. We'll be there as media. All right. Let's get into today's show. Jalen Walker is a prospect who I don't love. He's pretty good. I don't think he's anything special. Southpaw, stalks forward, good speed, decent pop. He's got a little more pop than, than, than he might be given credit for. Um, he's got a draw early in his career. It's not the end of the world, but... It, it came against on Hell Antonio Contreras, and I believe this was on a Ring City USA card. I think that's what it was. I remember it was televised on, on a smaller card. I think during the pandemic or, or, or briefly after, the, but um, it wasn't a big deal. He just did not look good in that fight. He's looked better since. Although I, I still don't think this guy is a is anything great as a prospect. Sharp from long range. Really good straight left hand. He, he's he's not a huge volume guy, but he picks his shots and he picks his uh, straight left hand really well. Throws it crisp, clean, really quick hands. Like I said, crisp, clean shots, quick shots, quick shots. He's got great feet as well. He's a good athlete. You can see this athleticism in him. He's got that twitchiness to him. He's a good athlete. He's a, he's a good athlete and a decent boxer, is, I, is what I guess I would say. He's accurate with his shots. He's been taught to fight well. You know, whoever coached him up did a pretty good job. I just don't see anything next level in him. I don't see a world champion here. It's just me. But he's, he's, a, he's a decent prospect. Quick reflexes, quick feet, decent pop. Smart in the ring. I wish he would throw a little more. He, he doesn't throw a ton. I want to see him use his jab a little more, throw a little bit more in combinations, really shoe shine and, and and let his hands go a little bit more in spots. But he's a good prospect. He's a good prospect, and he should win this fight. Alejandro Guerrero, on the other hand, is a good friend of mine. I, I've, I've, I've known him for a few years. He's originally from Irving, Texas. He makes his way out in Houston now. So he's going to have the hometown cheer. He's going to have the hometown cheer, and he may or may not have – Judges in his corner as well. Something to keep an eye on. He stands in and he wants to bang. He's got that typical Mexican style. Straight in. Gets hit with a lot of shots. He eats a lot of shots. He's flat footed. He's got a great chin. He's durable. He keeps coming forward. He keeps coming forward. He's got a great chin. He's aggressive. He's good to watch. He's He always makes for a fun fight. And, and he's rugged. He's got good power. He throws shots hard. He really commits to his shots. He's... He, he, the slow starter, although in his last fight with, with Xavier Martinez, he seemed to start quicker. He eventually got beat down in that fight, but Xavier Martinez is a better prospect than Jalen Walker. Xavier Martinez is a better fighter than what he's got here. He's got a really good gas tank. He's relentless. He throws hard shots. He goes to the body really well. He's that kind of typical Mexican fighter, right? What you would expect to see as a, as a Mexican-American in, in Texas. He picks up his aggression as the fight goes on. But like I said, in his last fight, he's training with Dave Martinez now in Houston. And he looked better in the Xavier Martinez fight. Just, Xavier Martinez is another level. But I think Xavier Martinez is another level also from Jalen Walker. He's still loading up too much. He still gets wild. He still telegraphs and shows his shots. Uh, he's flat, but it's not a lot of lateral movement. It's straight in, straight out. 
his head doesn't move much. Early he'll move it, but like he gets stuck in his ways, and then he's just target practice. Pretty good offensive fighter, pretty good volume, uh, pretty good pop, but he's limited to that, right? A mover, an athlete is going to kind of have his way with him, and that's what we have here with Jalen Walker. Let's take a look at the odds on this fight. Here it is. Get rid of this one. Jalen Walker at minus 700. Jalen Walker at minus 700. Um, again, I don't love this fight to bet. I think these odds are too wide. I do think Jalen Walker is going to win. Guerrero hasn't won a fight in years. He hasn't won a fight since right before the pandemic. It was the last showbox card. and, and, and uh, you know, There was a little bit of hype. Guerrero, people were interested in him because he is a fun fighter. And he, and he won a fight. He came back. He rallied late after a slow start. Uh, but he hasn't won a fight since so March of 2020 was last. So it's been four years since he won a fight. But he's a good fighter. He's a decent. He's 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 a good opponent. Jalen Walker should win this fight, uh, and I'm gonna just make it a one times bet. So we're not gonna make a lot of money on this fight, and that's gonna be one fourteen twenty. I think this goes the distance. I, I I think I would like the over in this fight, but again, uh, join the Patreon when they drop the props on this. Let's take a look at the props because I think I'm really gonna like over. I'm gonna like the over on this. I, I think Guerrero is just too tough. And too 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 rugged, and he's gonna have Jalen Walker not really committing, right? He's got Jalen Walker's gonna outbox him, but it's not gonna stop him, right? He's gonna box from the outside, he's gonna move, he's gonna tie him up, things like that. And I think Guerrero goes the distance here. They don't have props on that, but join the Patreon when they drop the props. Let's, let's take a look at the uh, odds together, and let let's make a decision at that particular time. All right, guys, uh, that's it. So Jalen Walker. One times bet on 100 bucks is going to make us 14.28. That's what we got. They don't have the props out on this yet, unfortunately, but I, I think I'm going to like the over. I think I'm going to like this fight to go the distance. Uh, but when they do, join the Patreon. Let's look at these odds here. Like the Patreon is five bucks a month. We're going to make way more than that betting on the over. So, I mean, it's it's worth it. You know, 12 months, that's 60 bucks a year. 60 bucks a year, you're going to make that more, you're going to make more than that on one bet. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Jalen Walker, uh, I love Jalen Walker on points. I want to see what the uh, over is going to be. Jalen Walker by decision, things like that. We'll make that decision when the time comes. All right, let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. The boxing book comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money. There's always a bull market somewhere. Let's bring down the house together. It is April 10th. 20 oh, also, again, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is also below. Um, Link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Um, it is April 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.